What is up, everybody? Angry World Cup Gaming here, and we are back with another episode of the Udinese Career Mode series. You guys didn't check out the last episode. Go ahead. We ended up season one. We're into season two right now, and this is what uh, the team's looking like. The team looks really, really interesting. We have Del Delfue, Delfue, I don't know, Jao Pedro. We have Richie. You know, this is all same squad. You know, some players have left. Um, one left on, you know pre-contract and yeah so Rivera was actually returned from a loan that's really good I don't know if I'm gonna plan to send him on another loan and if I do I don't know what country I send him on another loan so that's that's the real country not country I don't even know if I want to because I feel like he has potential and I, I just gotta use him you know I feel like I'm gonna use him for the backup right winger so like yeah that's probably what I'm going to do today's episode I'm gonna be looking to the center back now I have two center backs in mind right now it's really between Balaredi and St. Joseph. Now, the reason with Jay Joseph, you know, he's probably a little bit cheaper, but by that Eddie, he's still, he, he probably has, uh, you know, time to grow, and I like uh, maybe growth into that. And St. Juice, maybe maybe we could make both center back deals. I kind of want to make both center back deals, but at the same time, I want to fill in the squad with some depth, uh, some depth or just stuff like that. But yeah, I, I do, do really want to do that. I mean, this is the Yumpf Academy. Yumpf Academy is looking good. Uh, one player I do want to go ahead and sign is probably Fabrizio Franco and put him in the main squad. We have a bunch of players here who look really well. Maybe Lucero. We'll see. Actually, about Lucero, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll promote Lucero as well. So those are going to be the two players we promote in today's episode. And yeah, I mean, today is really about the transfer window and stuff like that. Um really not that much we can really be doing in this episode uh i, I mean we have franco um oh uh, yeah we get my bad i zoned out we are gonna loan out these two though and see if we can get them you know probably get their growth up fernando lucero even though he just be might not be good in this favor but we need some like squad depth and that's why having those guys in there would honestly help and stuff like that so yeah franco and uh the other guy so jao pedro getting a transfer offer to real betis and uh we're gonna reject this now after every game i'm gonna make a little cut so i can just like go through some stuff off camera probably that's what we're gonna do for this episode uh i want to do that um so i'm gonna start trying to play these guys they're like the little not the one well the wonder kids basically uh, do I want to play Lucero? Do I want to play Lucero? I don't even know if I want to play Lucero in the uh, in preseason. We should do that. I mean, it's preseason. All I really kind of focus on is just the players and how they play. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Those are the only three players I really kind of care about. So, yeah, we're going to just do that and see how we do. We end up with a draw. Okay, so the goalkeeper wasn't doing bad. So, yeah, be back with you on a bit. And yeah. All right, so we got two transfer deals, one for Vizu. And I'm not going to loan out Vizu, but I am going to loan out Lucero. But they want him for a two-year deal. I'm going to accept that. But I thought they were going to go ahead and just ask for a, um, uh, what's it called? A, a deal like, I don't know how to explain it, but just to buy him. or I don't even know. I don't know. I thought they wanted the loan to buy him. If they were they wanted that, I probably would have done something like that because loan to buy deals are kind of a little bit better in this situation. So, yeah, I'm going to bring in, I'm not going to bring in Lucet. I'm going to bring in Franco. Franco is going to get some playing time this season so I can, like, you know, we can probably, this kind of helped them with, bro, like, Brodrich. It was like Brodrich. You guys remember Brodrich um, who did the same thing. So, yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Now we have Hoffenheim. So, like I said, I'm just going to be playing these guys. Um really much on how i want to play them i mean am i gonna play a game in this episode possibly possibly i'm not gonna i'm not gonna literally 100 sure y'all but that's a possibly because like yeah rivero though i have faith in him like really i have faith in rivero so like yeah i can't wait to use him a little bit more it's gonna be him and richie really gonna be rotating so yeah that's gonna be something and look we won and franco was literally playing what a w so i'm just trying to see if we go a little bit okay we're going to the final oh no we're not we're out oh nice lucero loaned out lucero loaned out okay fernando lucero has been loaned out okay good that's one player out um so it doesn't look like we've been eliminated in preseason is that how it how it happened i don't even know i don't even know copa italia copa italia no no no, no. preseason preseason i need to see so i guess we got eliminated in preseason yeah how did we what it won in uh gold differential that was so dumb okay this doesn't matter all right so i'm gonna probably play that final 
and then we'll just do some transfers off here and lock the um our outright. Oh, for my goalkeeper, and it's not even that much money. I kind of want more money for him. It's not that bad. It's just, I need more money. We're gonna need some more money for stuff like for for sure our center back first. I kind of want to make this center back signing in today's episode. Now it's really between two players, Saint Juice, J Stu. But the only reason I it's stopping me to sign him is one, he's injury prone. I don't like that, and his stats doesn't look really. I mean, he's fast. You know, don't get me wrong. He's faster than him. I'm liking his stats honestly. Honestly, I'm liking his stats better than uh, but already so far. But like, I don't know if Jerm Jeremiah Saint Jude would like you know, grow, because, yeah, I mean, just doesn't, doesn't look like he's gonna grow, um, but I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking through his stats right now, you know, so FIFA, you know, we're looking through it, and, he, you know, he's not that, he might not, he might not be, he, uh, he might not even be that bad, okay, so, I'm gonna see if I can make this transfer, so we'll be back, and see if I'll make it, I think I'm gonna go for him though. Let's we go. We made our first offer, guys. Jeremiah St. Juste has signed for us for 19 mil. That's uh that's something I can't, don't even know what to really expect. I mean I think this was honestly not not a bad transfer, but I feel like we could still we gotta I wanna still make the Balaredi transfer. But What's stopping me is that we have only 28 mil. Okay, so we could go for Shane. We can go for Balaredi. What do you guys say, though? Should we go for Balaredi? I want to kind of go for Balaredi. Because, well, St. Juste was a good transfer. Uh, we'll have Samir in the bench now since he's there. But, like, look at this. This squad's not looking bad. Maybe a backup winger or uh, left back? A backup left back would work because, like... Yeah, I mean that, that's basically what I could say. Left back, a backup left back would work. So you maybe let me know in the comments below. Um, should we go for a, should we go for Balaredi, or should we go for a left back? Because that's what we need to do right now. So I'm gonna like simulate and I'll be back with y'all in a bit. So I actually was looking through some players, right? And this guy Gabriel Morales was in the in the free agency, and he looks pretty good. He's a 74 already. And I'm gonna make him a center back, uh, because I'm not gonna be using the the position he wants. Oh man, maybe not. I I mean, is there any other position? Maybe we could make him a winger, a uh, left winger back. I think a left winger back would work. We make him a left winger back. We make him the basically the backup for Salpy because Salpy he's the only left winger back, and he's not that bad. He's actually been playing really good at his game. Brandon Salpy, can't wait for more. And then Makengo. He's got he's got this uh, developmental plan up. All right, okay. So developmental plan. I haven't received any offers in general, but I'm waiting for my goddamn. Where's more? Where is Franco's offer? I need a loan offer from Franco, dude. And like, I understand that um, that like, I don't even know how to say, it, but yeah, I just need an offer sooner, later than later. I mean, look what. Oh my god, this guy Valentin Perlta Perlta. Bro, he's literally 70. He's a 70. No, 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 no. We got it. We got to go for it. We got to put him in the squad. But, yo, he's a 70 overall. And he's just literally, he's literally just a 70 overall. Nah, we got to put him in this. And like, we will put him in like, I don't know who to take out though. Maybe Larson. Oh yeah, I said Larson because I did put Larson in the transfer. Did I put, I know I put someone in the transfer list. He was the number one person I hope that leaves. Oh, he's even got any offers. That guy right there, but the the cam though, oh my goodness, that guy looks pretty amazing. Uh, Perlata has the potential to be special. Yo, this guy might he right here might be the future of like of the club. I mean, we got we got some couple of players from Chile looking good. I mean, he looks one of them. But I'm hoping Franco gets something. Like Franco hasn't gotten nothing, and like I could I could have like I would have hoped he did. And Peralta saying, hey, nice to, nice job. All right, so we'll see you guys in a bit. If I receive any own offers, I'll let you guys know, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, I also scouted some Watford players. So, maybe we'll, like, sign some Watford players later on. Uh, but I just scouted a couple of them. So, you know, we can have, like, some, you know, meaning of, against them. But, yeah, I'll be back with you on a bit. And, yeah, we'll, let's continue on with the simulator. Simulator. Okay, so we're getting a little bit later, bit, a little bit later into the season right now. And nobody has gotten a loan offer, bro. I'm literally kind of getting a little bit pissed off on that. 
Like, Franco should have gotten one. I thought Franco would have got one. But no, he hasn't gotten no loan offers or nothing like that. I hate when that happens. And they usually get loan offers later on into the season, which I do not like. Now, this guy right here, yeah, I'm going to keep him on the loan and maybe see what how he comes back, you know, how much how much growth he comes back with. Uh, maybe this guy, we should transfer. I, I'm going to transfer this, this guy. He's not even going to be, like, playing at all. 60 overall, dude. Yeah, I'm just, we got this game against the Supercopa. And there you go. Oh my God. C.D. Langanis. C.D. Langanis. Now, I mean, two-year loan. I'd say one year. I mean, a two-year loan will help. Let's go one year, guys. Let's just go with a one-year loan. See if we can get that Franco guy out. Franco out here so we can grow. Because I'm, I'm not going to try to play him. Okay. So, Roma. Roma won La Liga. I mean, the Hexira A last season. I said La Liga. See, I've been playing too much in the Spain League. Super Copa. All right. Copa Italia. Yeah. Okay. Sierra A this season. Yo. All right. Yo. So we're missing a center back in that you guys know who we're missing. We're missing Perez. And we have St. Juste as basically our backup. And I don't think St. Juste is a bad transfer. I just hope that he, he doesn't get injured quick. Because apparently he's known for being injured. As you guys saw the little trait. Maybe we could get his physical up. I think that'll be helpful. I mean, we could get the, the speed up, but I don't really want him to get the speed up because he's already fast, as you guys could see. So, yeah, I mean, that's really good. And, yeah, I mean, that's basically what we've gotten so far. I mean, this guy right here, Moraes, Gabriel Moraes, he is looking like one more week, and then we can get him to a left winger back. And, yeah, I mean, this is basically the team we're going to go ahead and rock with. I mean, we have Jao Pedro, Delefiu, Richie. Mm, yeah, looking like this, this team is looking good. I want to use Rivera's out here as well. I mean, oh, my God. Just realized something that uh, we're running out of players, too. We need to sign. All right. I'm going to, like, leave. Like, I'm going to probably, like, sign one guy, one more guy, maybe. Or I'm going to, like, let the, the let y'all decide. Who do you guys want me to sign? Because, like, I, I just want to, I want to, I want to go with what y'all want, too, as well. But, yeah, let's get to it, guys. It is Udinese taking out Roma for the Supercopa. So, let's get to the game. All right, guys. We're getting into this new season. Really fresh. Really simple. Uh, Udinese taking on Roma right now. So, hey, I mean, let's get it. Supercopa Nacional. All right. I mean, the Supercopa really is like a preseason. I don't care if we win it or not. Right now, we each, I'm going to try to win it, dude. I'm going to try to win it. With this squad, maybe we might not win it. Because Roma, I don't know who Roma has. They got Fred. Wow. <laughs> They've signed Fred. So, oh my god, that was a foul. And yeah, so I put Rivero's on the bench. And Rivero's is probably going to get a lot of playing time from me. So that's one thing I want to do is do that. And then St. Juste, I want him to get playing time as well. Nah, bro. St. Juste, okay, with the save of the 10th century. Get a few. Jao Pedro, no way, dude. Jao Pedro gets this. He gets it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pereira gets the goal. Roberto Pereira. Goal. Roberto Pereira gets the first goal of the matchup in under a couple minutes. Pereira. What a goal right there from Roberto Pereira. He gets a 1-0. He makes a 1-0. I mean, it came to him. I didn't think he was going to hit the header in. I really didn't think he was going to hit the header in. I thought it was just going to, like, miss or something. But Pereira, yo, Pereira, I don't plan on selling him. If I get a decent transfer offer, bro, that's where I'm going to go ahead and sell him, bro. Because that's what I want to do. I, I, I'm going to just say that right now. So, it's 1-0. Udinese take it on Roma. Let's get it. And yeah, I mean, I mean look, look at the squad. We already got the first goal. Did a few. Did a few. Passes it to Enzo Fernandez. Enzo to Wallace. Wallace to that guy. To Pedro. No. Spinoza. Zola. All right. Under. And Juste. Ja Pedro, Ja Pedro, Ja Pedro, Ja Pedro. Who's this? Florenzi. Oh, Florenzi. Richie! Richie! Richie with the second goal! He gets 2! 
Who makes it to no Richie? Let's get it, Richie. Not a bad way to start this season for Richie. Matea Richie goes and makes it to two nil. Nothing, nothing much. It's in the game. Yeah, it's in the game, Richie. And it's two nil. Let's get it. Roma are down. Wallace. Ciao, Pedro. Come on. I don't know how we beat in the squad. It's 3-0 against Roma now. Ciao, Pedro. Let's go. Ciao, Pedro. 3-0. Let's get it. That's what I'd like to see. Udinese take the lead from Ciao, Pedro with the third goal, though. This squad has been taking... We all, I don't know how Roma won the league with this squad, bro. But, hey. It's 3-0. We'll take it. Ciao, Pedro with the goal. St. Juste. Ciao, Pedro. Passes it to Fernandez. Fernandez Wallace. And Florenzi. Spinza. Spinza. Spin, I cannot say that guy's name for some reason. Um, St. Juste, is that him? Nah, 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 offside though. Molina passes it right there to Ricci. Ricci goes ahead and gets it to Wallace. Wallace, Pereira, Roberto Pereira, Fernandez, Fernandez. Pedro! Hey! <laughs> 4 0! 4 0! Ja Pedro! Gets it for. Yo, what a matchup right now. The fourth goal going for Jao Pedro. He's right there. He, he's getting, he knows where to be at. And he gets it in. 4-0 for Jao Pedro. And that's what we like to see right now. 4-0. Mini va para allá. ¿Qué está haciendo? Silvestri, ooh, good job for Silvestri. All right. Mm, Pereira. All right. Same juice there. Roberto Pereira. Ricci. Roma are down 4-0. What? Haha. <laughs> Tammy Abraham, bro. I forgot Tammy Abraham played for Roma. I'm telling you, bro. I would have done a Roma career mode before it is like rebrand, like before they got they got out of FIFA, dude. I'm telling you this right now. I would have done a Roma career mode because I honestly like Roma. I like all the Italian teams. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't have a favorite, 
you know but i like all of them literally all of them hey it's something i don't know because like i can't pick a favorite dude like you'll see me wearing a kit i'll wear a kit you'll see me wear a kit like an italian kit i'll wear the italian kit that's all i had to say you know those last three Roberto Pereira. Got Pedro. Oh, Pedro. Roma 4 0. Pedro, Matteo Ricci, Matteo Ricci, Matteo Ricci, oh! Alright, let me go ahead and put these Wonder Kids in for a test, I don't know. Marias, I mean I could, but I kind of want to put them at, the, at, the, at that position right there. I think he'd have fit, um, Ray Winger. Um, and then we'll put Matteo Perlata. Oh man. Alright, so that's with the save. Fred score. How do we get scored from Fred, dude? How do we get scored from Fred? <laughs> Fred scores one. Four. It's one four though, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I put my my. Oh, I haven't even put them in yet. Oh, we put like the young kids in there. So there's Riveros. The Spinazzola guy. No, Silvestri, good job. Take that out. Mm -hmm. Wallace, I, I don't know. Wallace, probably, maybe a transfer out next season. De la Fue. De la Fue. Oh, Perlata could have gotten that goal. But hey, we'll get the win. 4-1. 4-1. 4-1. We win the Super Copa. The Copa Italia. Copa Italia. Let's go. Let's go. That's our first goal. First trophy. Second trophy. Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't even know. I don't even know. But hey, who did these? That's been a really good one. You did these. Yeah, we've been having, we've been getting really good for title success. And yeah. So, I'm trying to see our trophy hold. But yeah, it's looking like 4 and 4 1. Rodrigo Becal is going to go ahead and hold the trophy up. And we, Udinese, are Supercoppa Italian winners. Let's get it, guys. That's another trophy down. I mean, it's preseason, but we're going to cut the celebration short, and we're going to go ahead and move on, though. 
all right so we cut the celebration yeah i cut the celebration short because like i said i'm not going to um continue on with the uh well not continue i don't want to continue on with that because i feel like maybe the episode's short but oh my god perlata gets a loan offer from club Brugge. i like this i like it i mean i, I think he's literally a higher old he's literally like he's valued more than um what's his face uh the other talent the other chilean guy the heck i forgot his name i literally forgot his name but franco loaned out to Linganis. i'll take it as long as we're getting these loan offers in then yeah i'm probably like gonna make like a one like little big transfer i want you guys to like give me some transfer offers as soon as possible we're in august right oh my god so we have empoli in the next episode um we're gonna play empoli so all right all right guys guys i'm gonna end i'm gonna end it off right here all right next episode i want you guys to leave me in the comments below some loan some player options okay we need some player options i don't know what we can like go ahead and bring in i mean i could bring me i might bring in pobega this season and i might go ahead and try to bring in but already let me know what you guys want me to bring in who you guys want me to bring in just give me some players in mind i don't know some center back a center back would work maybe a center back option would work as you guys could see look at that brandon soppy the yeah i i just think a center back or a left winger no nah, left winger back uh, just a center back or it, or something yeah a center back signing and yeah anyways guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like share subscribe be a part of anchor nation i'll see you guys in the next one peace out bye